Welcome to the video tutorials of Mechanisms by Mechanismalar. You may wonder why all of a sudden my site has an interest in butterfly scales. It is well known that my site is dedicated to mechanisms created by human ingenuity. However, more than a year ago I came across a close-up picture of a butterfly's wings and its scales. I was amazed that the butterfly had such a beautiful device on their wing. I would like to emphasize the term device. I have known since childhood that butterflies had scales. Also the scientific name of a butterfly is the combination of the two ancient Greek words scale and wing, lepidoptera. What I did not know is how the scales were arranged on the wings. So why are scales so important for butterflies from an engineering point of view? Before going into details of this, I would like to thank Lyndon Gledhill for giving me permission to use his pictures in this video. You can see a link to Lyndon's webpage on the description section of this video and I suggest you visit his site. I believe that the butterfly scales evolved initially just like a bird's feathers for thermal insulation. As the feather evolved for the birds, they began to have different functions such as camouflage from predators, courtship, and finally for flight. Similarly, a butterfly scales gives very good thermal insulation and also soaks up heat from the sun to warm the butterfly. With time, the butterfly scales have evolved to camouflage and to warn predators to stay away from them. Since scales can easily shed, they help the butterfly escape from spiders nests. All of these explain the purpose of the butterfly scales. However, these scales would have all of the mentioned advantages to the butterfly even if they were arranged randomly as opposed to what we see in these images. Therefore, there must be another reason the scales are arranged orderly as seen in these images. And I propose a mechanism for scales to increase flight efficiency of a butterfly. Please look at the single scale image shown in this slide. This is a very broad leaf-like scale that has a very tiny stem which attaches the scale to the wing. Before diving deeper into my proposal, I did some research to find more information about a butterfly scales. What I learned from my search is that if you rub the scales of a butterfly, they die a while later since they lose their thermal insulation. This tells me that the primary function of the scales is thermal insulation, just like a bird's feather. Another research result I found states that butterflies flip their wings 10% more if their scales are rubbed off. But why is the flight efficiency decreased by 10%? What role are scales playing during flight? I wanted to investigate this more. This is why in the first paragraph I called a butterfly scales magnificent devices. During 2009 I was pondering about bird flight and trying to understand me the mechanism behind it. In the description section of this video I have included a video explaining the importance of feathers during flight. While I was pondering about flight and feathers relationship I made some models to understand it. Here are the two images of these models. Can you see the resemblance of these models to a butterfly scales? The only difference is the size of the scales are very small for the butterfly. But the scale arrangement got my attention, and here is why. Butterfly, butterfly scales, just like my scale model, are passive devices. This means that the scales move in a certain way as a result of the wings flapping, as seen in this animation. When the move, the when the wing moves up, the bottom scales of the but butterfly open to receive air. As the scales are closing, the top scales push the air backwards. The opposite of this happens when the wings are coming down. The air ejected out between the scales plays three important roles. The first is that the air motion due to the scales pushes the butterfly forward. Most of, most of the images I see close up of the scales shows that they are arranged parallel to flight path 
or toward the edges of wings. Also, the grooves of the scales are arranged that way. This is an indication that they are closed, closely related with the flight by pushing air to give the butterfly a push forward. The second is that the air on the scales is moving. Air moves on each scale by the air ejected from the previous scale. This is a very important phenomenon. Moving air on each scale means that drag on the wing will decrease substantially. However, the details of this are beyond the scope of this video, but trust me, it does. A similar phenomenon is observed for penguins. They store their air, they store air between their feathers, which give them buoyancy, and when they want to sprint, they eject the air between their feathers to move faster. Penguins do this one time, but due to the nature of the scales, butterflies do it constantly. The third is that the air movement due to scale motion happens very intensively when the wing flap action changes direction. This is the time where the butterfly sheds the vortex loops from its wings. A butterfly sheds two vortex loops during one complete flapping cycle. At the end of the downstroke, a strong red vortex is shed from the wings, and at the end of the upstroke, a less intense blue vortex is shed backwards from the butterfly. The two distinct directions of these vortices may explain the erratic flight path of a butterfly. Is it a coincidence that shedding of vortexes just happens when the airflow due to the scales were intense? I think it's closely related to shedding one vortex while starting the second one. I made this animation from scientific paper published by four Japanese scientists. My apologies if I'm saying their names wrong, but they are Masaki Fujiwaki, Taichi Kuroki, Kazuhiro Tanaka, and Takahide Tababa. I'm very confident that the scales of a butterfly are flapping as I proposed and as I have described above. However, I do not have any way to prove that the butterfly scales are moving this way. My only option was to create my own butterfly wing model with scales. The colorful scales represent the upper scales of the wing, while the scales under the wing are not as colorful. The external video link I'm going to display at the end of my video shows how the scales behave during flight while the wings are flapping. Since I do not have the required equipment and research facilities to do further research on the subject, here are some suggestions for people who have these resources. The first is that someone should map a scale orientation on long-distance flying monarch butterflies. This map will give us more information on which ways the air is pushed by the scales. The second is that someone should take a monarch butterfly wing and connect it to a slow vibration device and take a slow motion macro video to show how the scales are moving. If they're moving as I described it, it proves my point. I have the utmost confidence that they will prove they will move as I proposed. Please click to the next video link to see my butterfly wing scale motion simulation. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video. If you've enjoyed this video and found it to be useful, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. We appreciate your support.